Please welcome this week's special guest, Christina. <laughs> so, Joe, what is Christina to you? Uh, well, this is Christina. Um, I once borrowed her car, then later watched in horror as a Frenchman crushed it with his lorry. <laughs> right, Joe's carless companion. Uh, Kiri, how do you know Christina? Uh, this is Christina, and my dog ate the tip of her finger. Kiri's <laughs> dog's dinner, and finally, David, what is your relationship with Christina? This is Christina. When my list of implausible things that have happened to me that I could talk about on Would I Lie to You blew away, <laughs> she returned it to me. <laughs> and so there we have it. Lee's team, where will you begin? Joe, could you just remind me again what you said? Sorry. Uh, I borrowed Christina's car, then later on a Frenchman crushed the car with his lorry. So you borrowed her car? Yeah. Why? Because I had to go to a gig in Nottingham. And you've borrowed the car, you've gone to the gig, and then you've... What, what happened was we got down the M1 and everyone said, let's stop and have breakfast, like you do. Three breakfast? In the, well, three o'clock in the morning, yeah. you know. Have you got other comedians in the car with you? Yeah. And then, I didn't realise, but we were actually in the lorry park and not the car park. Did the truck <laughs> reverse into your car? It did. All right, no. And you're in the car. And we're in so it, So why yeah. didn't you blow the horn or get attention? Because it wasn't my car. But a horn is a horn. You're still to use the horn. <laughs> It's not mine. I've got very it's, dirty fingers. Excuse me. <laughs> it didn't have the horn in the middle of the steering wheel. Where? Of course, that's the oh. first thing I tried. I went, eh, like that. Sorry, where, where was the horn? It was on the end of a stalk. You yeah. know. How did you fit the stalk in there if you had all this? <laughs> <laughs> you said it was a Frenchman driving this. How would you know? Did he go, ooh, well, look, crush? No, what? <laughs> What, what happened was I tried... I was trying to find the horn, windscreen <laughs> wipers... As ever. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and um, eventually I did find it, but his lorry had already hit the car right. and started to make a crunching noise, cos we were, we were against the wall. But it properly crushed? No, not concertina it in, but it's... <laughs> well, was, were you hit or were you crushed? You're the one that said crushed. You know, crushed the front the of it. The crumple zone, I imagine. He stopped. I got out of the car, went round to him, and he <laughs> opened his cab and went... C'est la vie! <laughs> <laughs> I don't think he said C'est well, la vie. <laughs> that's life! <laughs> so, go on. Talk us through the conversation when you talk, Christina. Well, I, I phoned her. I said, look, I'm really sorry. I've had an accident with your car. And she said, not again. Have you not put about putting plastic sheets down? <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, that, the upshot of it was that I actually did manage to drive it home. It had the uh, grill had sort of half fallen off. And you Thanks drove home like that. Sorry, were you comedians or clowns? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> right, what about, uh, what about Kiri? OK, so, Kiri, you're claiming that this lady's fingertip is missing. Yeah. Yeah. It's an interesting one, this, cos she's covering her hand, but she would have been told to do that to give her lie exactly. a chance, if she lied. Coming. Yeah. Is she a friend of yours? She's my auntie. Were you there when it happened? Yeah. Where, where was it? Um, it was in her kitchen. In her kitchen. Your dog? Yeah. What sort of dog have you got? I've got Jack Russell. Little Jack Russell? Why are you yeah, sitting like he's a little cute? He's taking someone's finger off. <laughs> <laughs> it, wasn't, it wasn't his fault. He didn't think it was a finger when he ate what it. What did he think it was? <laughs> It. Did he gulp it down? Yeah. So how much of the finger are we talking here? So she was peeling potatoes. Right. But she was doing it too fast and she had a finger out like that. And then she was doing it really quickly and I was talking to her so she was distracted. And she just went like that and then a big curl of her finger. That can happen now. Well, hang on, so now you're saying she didn't... So it wasn't the end of the finger, it was the sort of fleshy bit. Y yeah, so, the, like, the tip came off... Ooh. And you're, and you're then Jack just... Russell, like a shark. <laughs> <laughs> Smelt the blood in the air, leapt up. Oh, and the, I'm presuming there was blood splurting everywhere. Yeah, there was a lot of blood. A and what happens next? What did you do? Um, I didn't do anything, I was just panicking. Because you um... thought, there's not going to be no chips now. <laughs> 
so, so my dad got like loads and loads of kitchen roll and just like held it down and then took her to A and A and she got some stitches. Are the dog's still doing all right. The dog's. The dog's dead. It's not. <laughs> Is it... Really? That's a hell of a punishment. <laughs> I'm not happy about the peeling technique. This away from you. Surely people peel towards them like that. Huh? What? Yeah. yeah. No. I peel towards. You I peel, peel towards. towards. I do yeah. my carrots the other way. <laughs> yes. Enough of the filth. <laughs> right. Now then, what about David's? So remind train. us again, David. Well, uh, this is Christina. Hi, um, Christina. Um, Give uh, us a wave. <laughs> <laughs> And when my list of implausible things I could talk about on this show blew away, uh, she returned it to me. So, hang on, where, where, where were you at the time? I was in the garden. How many things were on the list? Oh, I mean, hundreds of things were on the list. <laughs> well, the hundreds of amazing things that, unfortunately, I can't tell you about uh -huh. for obvious reasons. Well, you so, I just well, clarify, you've got hundreds of things on the hundreds list. Hundreds of things on the list. And the last few series have been the best of those things yeah. that have happened in your life. <laughs> Because no, wow. I, I asked them to save the best stuff for after series 30. Okay. <laughs> in, in the hope that one of the pair of you will be dead. Yeah. <laughs> You're in the garden to that Yeah, moment. I've been copying the list out onto a fresh piece of paper. From uh, what? From an older piece of paper <laughs> that, that had become... You're far more meticulous about this show than I am. <laughs> yes. I keep a piece of paper with me at, uh, at all times. Yes, I know. In my you diary. need to in your condition. Yeah. <laughs> 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 anyway, it's been folded up in my diary and yeah. I've been adding these amazing, brilliant anecdotes yeah. which <laughs> fans of the show will be familiar with. Where does it blow to? Over the wall. Your heart must have got into your mouth when you, when you saw all that <laughs> magic yeah. disappear. Yeah, I, I, well, I thought this is a security issue. Of course. <laughs> Going away in the world, someone can photograph it, put um, it on social media, and there goes series 31 to 36 of this but show also, down the toilet, just, like the, the paper from the other pocket. <laughs> and uh, so it blows over the wall. So yeah. is this lady your neighbour? No. Beyond the wall at the bottom of the house yes. is some allotments. Oh. Ah. And was she allotting at that time? She was allotting. <laughs> Did you run down, scamper down? Well, it, it blew initially, it rested. Briefly, on, on a on, marrow. On, <laughs> on, on a, as you, as you <laughs> rightly say, on a quivering marrow. <laughs> rested on the lawn, and then another, and I, so I ambled towards it in quite a relaxed manner, which I later came to regret because a second gust of wind took it right over the wall wow. into the allotment. How high is the wall? A uh, hundred feet. Wow. <laughs> What's happened to the guests? Yes. Sure. No, Thank it's, God for that trampoline. It's, it, it's quite a tall wall. Right. Is it taller not, than not you? Not a hundred feet. That's no. an exaggeration. OK. So, suddenly, Christina is just happily in her allotment and yes. she sees your ghostly head <laughs> rising above a high yeah. wall. What a horrible experience. Well, <laughs> I certainly do look disgusting. <laughs> And the upshot was... She passed you the piece of paper. She consented to go and pick up the piece Were of paper... Were you not tempted at that point? It to given me. you're so high up on the fence, to just jump the wall and go and get it? No. So what was the, the chain of events that ended up with Christina and you becoming friends? Did you say, oh, you handed that sheet of paper over ever so lovely, do you fancy ever meeting up for a cup of tea? <laughs> no, we, we've never met up for a cup of tea. I mean... So why is Christina here? <laughs> Have you never seen this show before? All right. We need an answer. So, Lee's team is Christina, Joe's Carlos companion, Kiri's dog's dinner, or David's helpful hero? I, I think it's Kiri's dog's dinner. Why? Yeah. I just... I can see it happening. Seems plausible. Joe's is plausible up until the driving home bit. You can't be crushed and drive home. Which way are you leaning, Henning? Um, yeah, absolutely, I'm with Simon. I, I can see Kiri and him. I can see him having a drink together as well. They look very similar. Yeah. So we think it's Kiri, do we? Mm. Yeah. OK. You're going to we'll say that it's yeah. Kiri, Kiri and the finger and the dog. OK. Christina, would you please reveal your true identity? I'm Christina and Joe wrecked my car. <gasps> Yes, Christina is Joe's Carlos companion. Thank you very much, Christina.